the last part of the 70s or early part of the 80s they changed the name from what Hilton to Redline Inn and I never had figured out which it was when I was there because I never paid attention to it much. But that's where most of them took place. I also went to Council Bluffs with them. And that was from 78 to 83 I was with him and in 83 we had a big argument and I didn't want anything to do with them and I dealt with my friend Andy who he was uh, doing sexual things and stuff and I didn't want to be messing with my friend Andy. What do you mean the sexual thing? Well, we were at some parties and stuff, and uh, he was having sex with him, so uh, yeah. and he was like about 12 years old. Um, Andy was 12? What's happened to Andy? I don't know. I haven't... Was he doing kinky things or just straight sex? Well, mainly kinky things. Like what? Well, all sex and... Uh, you tied him up and stuff like that, which is why I really got concerned because he was going to do the same things that he did with me to him. And this is like my little brother, so yeah. you know, anybody can mess with him. You know, so, anyway. did he mess with him in spite of your argument? He did up until then. And then I kind of was at all the parties and stuff, and it's like I kind of pulled Andy away from him. And Would Harold Anderson allow this? He had, pull to, he had nothing to say about it. Okay. Because I told uh, I don't bear that I wouldn't go to the parties anymore. Actually, I wouldn't bring any more my friends to the parties if uh, he didn't keep him away from Andy. Because of the kinky things, or just in general? In general, I didn't like the guy. I never did. I mean, because he always tied me up and beat me and burned me cigarettes and stuff. I just didn't like him. What did he pay you to do that? No, 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 $50, $75. Tight one, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, next person on the list is Kent Bruner, and I was with him about 10 to 20 times. Kent who? Kent Bruner, or Kenny Bruner. B-R-U-N-E-R? Yeah, B-R-U-N-E-R. Kent Bruner. He was involved with Walter Carlson's group, and that's how I met him. You see there. And that went on from 77 to 83 when I pulled away from Carlson. In 83, I pulled away from a lot of guys. And I figured they didn't, I guess, well, personalizing Robinson at the time and stuff. We went, to, went for the money after that. And they didn't go to, go to Carlson's buddies because they didn't get enough money for going there. So they stopped and went There was actually, it was also because my stepdad died and a bunch of other friends died and stuff. And we just. They died? Your friends died? Well, I had a couple, of, I had one friend that died. Uh, a couple of friends that committed suicide. And, uh, my stepdad died, then my aunt died, and my great aunt died. Why did these, your friends commit suicide? Uh, two of them, I had no, re I had no idea why they committed suicide. The other one was involved with Satanism, and he just couldn't handle it anymore. And, and do they, do the Satanists encourage suicide? Uh, sometimes. Depends on what their what their purpose for you is. They have no purpose for you. Yeah, they, they encourage you to uh, encourage you to give yourself for a sacrifice, which I've never seen me actually do. Give himself up for sacrifice. Yeah, I've never seen him do that. Yeah, but you've seen him go in involuntarily. Though. Yeah. You told me the last time. Uh, the next name is Joe Burke. He was also involved with uh, Walter Carlson's group, and that was about 10, 20 times from 77 to 83. What he was one that I got in Omaha. And uh, he's one that I got mainly involved with with Carlson's group. He was the second one that I got involved with Carlson's group. And he's the one that got me involved with Andreessen directly. And uh, so I don't know what he did for a living. All I know is that he. Uh, Next guy is, well, was at the time I thought he was John Mahoney, and now I know that he's Eugene Mahoney. And uh, that happened from 77 to about 80, 86. I had seen him at parties, and I had done a few sexual things with him under five times. I was with him, in fact, I think it was more like 
two times I did something directly with him, and then there was other times I was with him that he was with other young men and stuff. And uh, I met him through Bear's group. And then there's another guy. His last name was Nelson. I don't know what his first name was. All I know that he was a lawyer. Well, these this last one is normal. Nelson. The other one before that. Oh yeah, Mahoney. Yeah. Mahoney. Hold on. What is is it? What is he? His occupation? Uh, I don't know what his occupation is. Okay. All I know is that he was a pretty powerful. With all of the break in here, Ted. You have a phone call from your sister. So oh, okay. Can you just okay. break in? You work for him and take it. Take it in here. Nelson. All I know is that he was a lawyer in the Omaha area. That's his last name. And I met him in 83 and 84. How old guy is he? He's probably in his, well at the time he was 83 and 84, he's probably in his 30s. I mean, early to mid 30s. And I was with him twice. <coughs> I met him at one party with uh, there. Uh, this guy is uh, a guy named Jay Dura. He was also a lawyer. And uh, met him at a lot of parties in Omaha, and I also seen him in Washington, D.C. That was going on through 80 to 86. And I was with Barry and also with King. I know he was a, a lawyer. We talked a few times. I was with him like three times sexually. And he's from where? He's from Omaha. Okay. Uh, but he was in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Well, he went for a trip. Uh, a couple of trips went down there and stuff, but one trip I remember in the next. This guy's Mike Heverin. He was a teacher out in, uh, I think it was a pay or something. He got canned because of giving minor, contributing to Lincoln to Meyer, giving him cigarettes. But he had some very questionable tapes that I remember him doing stuff. Well, your, what time was that? When was that? That was from, uh, it was 1980. Took a bunch of trips out to another town and he used to film us doing different things. And Porno films? <laughs> well, some of them were, but he filmed some other films too. But he also did that with certain kids. He'd pick them out. I was with him about four times. What do you mean you'd pick them out? He kids would, on the street or kids that were with you? He picked out kids from his class. He was a teacher. Kids from his class and stuff. And he'd, they'd go on field trips and stuff, and then they would film different things, and then he'd pick them out during them trips and stuff, which ones he would start abusing sexually. He'd, he'd take pictures of the ones he wanted to ones. go after. Those. Yeah, he'd figure out which ones were uh, easy targets. I wouldn't say anything. How could he? Oh, I see. The ones, he was worried about the ones that would talk. Where, what town is he from? Uh, he was from, I think, I'm not sure if he was from South Omaha, but I know that he worked at a, either Payne or one of the schools in Omaha. He got fired a couple years back. What, you, oh, you said some school, Payne or something? Payne or yeah, La Vista, Payne. somewhere out there. Is that a part of Omaha? Well, it's uh, in Sarpy County. It's okay. in, not in Omaha, so. <clears throat> uh, this guy, all I have is the last name. His, name is, his last name is Todd. All I called him was Mr. Todd. He was with Carlson. I was with him five or ten times in 77, 83. And he was in Omaha. How old a guy is he? He's probably in his early 20s. And what, you know what he did? Any of these people did? I don't know what he did. I know that, well, actually I shouldn't say it. I think he did something with, well, he was going to school. At the time, he was going to UNL. So that's all I remember about him is that he went to UNL. How many times did you say? About five to ten. And they were all he was, I, knew, I knew he was a victim from before and stuff because we had talked a lot and stuff. He had grown up being abused by these guys and he just was like 20, he was early 20s, I think maybe 20, 21. And so he was victim. some of the early victim, earlier victims, I know. Mean. And they had, these guys had been going on for years before they even got a hold of me. Uh, next guy is Carl Ellers, and he was involved 